Hey everyone, I'm Francesca Froio and welcome to my channel. As always, today I will be talking to you about permanent makeup. But today I like to treat a very controversial topic. I want to tell you more about this new regulation which is taking over in Europe, which has been enforced since the 4th of January 22. The regulation I'm talking about is called REACH and it's a European regulation that uh, rules what you as a manufacturer can use to produce permanent makeup pigments, microblading pigments and body tattoo inks. You might have seen it everywhere, everyone was talking about this REACH regulation, everyone was uh, in full panic like ah, from tomorrow we cannot use pigments, uh, colorful pigments anymore, tattoos are banned worldwide, no one will ever be allowed to get a tattoo anymore. So there was a lot of psychological terrorism behind this new regulation and today with you, I want to clarify this topic from a reputable source, me, and I want to solve your skepticism, your doubts, and I want to give you a real and honest point of view on what is rich and what is regulating. So the REACH is basically a regulation that restricts the usage of certain substances for permanent makeup, microblading or body tattoo inks. This regulation is a European regulation, which means that it's going to be valid and enforced only among Europe states. Outside Europe, like UK, US, Canada and all the other countries like South America, Africa, India and so on, they do not need to comply with REACH. REACH is only a European thing. And what, what is it basically? The European Commission uh, uh, gather and they try to put some limit on the usage of, of certain substances. The REACH regulation limits the use or concentration of certain substances considered dangerous within the inks, colors for tattoos and permanent makeup. There are over 4,000 potentially dangerous substances, which include cancerogenic substances, mutagenic substances and toxic substances, sensitizing, corrosive, irritating, harmful for the eye and prohibited in cosmetic substances. Which means that nowadays producing an ink which is actually compliant to reach, it's way more difficult for the manufacturer. Now the manufacturer needs to keep into consideration over 4,000 substances more than in the past. And this though put us in the condition to have a much safer product in our hands. So is a permanent makeup ink or a body tattoo ink that is rich compliant safer than an ink that was used before and that is no longer rich compliant? The answer is yes, is a big yes. I mean, don't get me wrong, but certainly this, this new rich thing, it's a disaster for manufacture, but it's a great thing for us as artists and even a better thing for the final users. Because being tattooed with an ink which is rich compliant means that we will have a lot less danger of getting skin irritation, of getting an allergic reaction, of getting used a pigment which could lead to a cancer because some pigments from the older generations theoretically could contain some aromatic amine which are potentially cancerogenic. So we're talking about serious stuff here. I think what European Commission have done was for the best of the whole health community, of the whole community, for the best of the health of the community. <laughs> but now it's up to you guys. It's up to you women, men, final customers which get a tattoo to make sure to ask to your tattoo artist which kind of pigment are you using on me? Can you tell me the name of the pigment, the brand of the pigment? And why don't you show me, is the pigment rich compliant? 
can you show me the rich compliancy declaration? Because theoretically, by law, every user, every tattoo artist and every permanent makeup artist should have in their own salon all the declarations from the manufacturer stating that that product is confirmed, com confirmed to reach. They should have it and it's your right to ask for it. And you should because, you know, it's very nice to have a product which is safe and it stays almost forever in our skin, so we should pay attention to what we inject under our skin. But unfortunately, unfortunately, there is still so many people that are using old pigments, even though they're not allowed, even though this is illegal. There is a lot of old products still on the market and theoretically from the 4th of January 2022, all of the tattoo artists, all of the permanent makeup artists should have thrown away the old inks and should have purchased the new ones which are compliant to reach. But you know what's happening, of course, people are not just throwing away money, they're still gonna use it and they think, oh, you know, at the health of the customer, doesn't matter, I'm still saving this uh, couple hundred euros, you know, I'm still gonna use it. And that's not ethical. So it is only in your hands, your safety. You have the right to ask to your, to your tattoo artist what they're using. And it only depends on you. So my, um, my suggestion for you guys is to be more responsible. Now you know the risks. Now you know that there is a way to work in safety and that it's up to you to request to your professionals what they're using. For example, I'm using Biotech colors. You already know my favorite. And Biotech is an Italian company that manufactured themselves in Italy pigments, needles and machine. So of course, since the manufacturer is in Italy and Italy is in Europe, everything that is manufactured and sold by Biotech within Europe needs to be absolutely 100% rich compliant. For this reason, if I purchase a biotech color and I just go online to their website, I scroll, I pick the color I want and I can automatically download the MSDS, which is the safety data sheet of that specific color, and the declaration of conformity to the reach. I can download them. This is a honest and transparent behavior from a manufacturer and I wish all manufacturers would be like that. But don't be tricked, it's not always like this. So, it's up to you to request this kind of certification and make sure they use only the best for your skin. Now, for example, from uh, 2023, uh, there will be an additional, let's say, piece that will take place of the reach. It was already preset uh, during the original reach uh, release. And they just said that from 2023, the usage of a certain type of phthalocyanin of green and blue will no longer be possible to use. So even for that, you know, if you're a permanent makeup artist, not much of a deal. But if you're a tattoo artist, that's bad because out of the blue, you can no longer use a certain shades. You can no longer use a certain pigments that maybe they were sticking so nicely into the skin, but now came out they were not so healthy, you know. We all need to adapt to this new world, but I really think that if this improves our quality of life, our health, then we should really do it. Let me know in the comment what you think about this topic and if it has ever happened to you to ask for this certification to an artist, or as an artist to ask for this certification to a manufacturer which didn't have it. And uh, I hope uh, you, you found this video useful. If so, please uh, rate it positively, click on the thumb up and also click on the bell to subscribe to my channel and activate the notifications. So you will receive a notification every time I release a new video. 
and also in the description box down below I will write for you my Instagram account so we can keep in contact there and you can feel free to ask me questions and to see my updated contents on the daily life of permanent makeup artist. Thank you very much for being with me today. See you in the next videos. Thank you.